Our other top story here at five days after Mark Schlissel's firing as the president of the University of Michigan, the victims of Dr. Robert Anderson are calling for his replacement to make major changes. They're calling for a more open environment at the school to help change what they've called a culture of silence. Priya Mann spoke with them today. Days after U of M president Dr. Mark Schlissel was fired for an inappropriate relationship with a subordinate, victims of Dr. Robert Anderson say it speaks to the university's culture. It's transparently clear to anyone who wants to pay attention that there's no commitment to change because the president of the university couldn't stop himself from having his own affair that was against their written rules. I mean, it is a culture of duplicity. Robert Stone and Keith Murray both graduated from U of M in the 70s and 80s. Both say university officials did nothing when they came forward accusing Dr. Anderson of sexual assault. We go to the extreme example of a Dr. Anderson, which is very, very different than um, what what ex President Schlissel was being accused of. Um, but but it, they're, they're sort of along the same continuum of what happens when people are made untouchable. And that's part of the culture that has to change. Without a public vote and behind closed doors, Schlissel was fired by the Board of Regents. I, I have, have to have confidence that um, that the regents are going to also be looking at their role in all of this and looking at how they need to be doing things differently in the future. They're hoping the new president will have the desire and the support to bring about real change. If this continues, a, a, a degree from the University of Michigan is just going to be an embarrassment and it's going to take a real change in attitude among the Board of Regents to turn this around. There needs to be a truth and reconciliation committee to really, first of all, look at what's been going on there. Let's get this out in the open, really know what we're dealing with, take the hard knocks, and then move forward together. In Ann Arbor, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Well, in an emailed response, the university says, in part, quote, we have added new policies that prohibit teacher-learner romantic relationships that prohibit supervisor supervisee relationships and strengthened our policy against any type of retaliation in quote.